All right, that the last of it, Frank? It's the last door. Okay, great. All right, now what I've done is I've actually trimmed this door that's gonna go in this opening on one side to see how it fits width-wise. Okay. Next thing I wanna do is I wanna check the height to see how it is in relationship with the header over the doorway. So you wanna okay. take that door and bring it over there? Okay. Set it right down on the floor, right near the opening, and I'll twist it in there. All right, now let me just spin it up there and slide it in the opening and see how it fits. Get the bottom in. Nice. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a measurement on this side of the door because it's the widest distance. So whatever that is, that's a half an inch. Come down this side, measure a half an inch. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect that dot with the top of the door's edge right here and cut it. And the door will match the angle of the jam perfect. Okay, so I'll make it flush here and on the mark down there. Pull that there and I'll just score it. And you're scoring it wide, Tom? I don't want the door to chip when, we, uh, when I cut it. Now what we need to do is push the door up, leave about an eighth of an inch space, and mark for our hinges. I want to mark the center of our hinges. Okay, top and bottom. Top and bottom. I made a templating guide to cut our mortises so they'll be the exact size of the hinge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my router that's set up with a templating bit and a bearing on the top, and the bearing will ride right around the jig. Now what I have to do is take my chisel and square off these corners because the hinges you chose have square corners. All right, good. Let's see how it fits. Oh, it's perfect. Perfect. All right, all we have to do is drill for the hardware. Okay, great. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.